Okay, we're going to start out with a story that happened actually a few years ago. It's been in progression, but you can now listen to our service members um, tell their stories in short snippets about time that they've served in the Coast Guard and the Army and any uh, form of reserves. You can go to storycore.org to listen to these little snippets. And there was a woman on there, Janine Menz, who has an incredible story and I'm so glad that she shared it with all of us. So in 2005, in the early 2000s, she decided that she wanted to capitalize on her love of being a pilot. When she was a little girl in Jamaica, she loved watching the planes come in and she thought, you know what, I want to do this for a living. So prior to 2005, we'll get to 2005 in just a second, she went to this, um, the, the aeronautical training camp, sorry, uh, in Florida, and she said in line there were a lot of people that didn't look like her, so she got discouraged. She tried oh, to be no. a coder for a while and do other things, but then she kept coming back to her love of flight. So in 2005, she actually got her certificate. In 2010, she was the first black um, woman who piloted in the Coast Guard. What a moment for her. She decided that since there was such little representation still, that she said, you know what, we need to bring more black women, more women of color into this. Enter another woman that we've talked about on the show before, but Officer Holmes. This is what happened in this ceremony right here in 2010. She said she wanted to make sure that it was inclusive and that they were encouraging other people like them to be a part of this certain sector of the Air Force. So she said, I wanted to make some oh, sort of gesture to say that we're all gonna be here for each other, all the other black and brown girls that were going to be coming up behind us. And immediately I thought the best way to do that was to give her my golden wings. Holmes responded by saying, as you were putting on the wings on my chest, I felt like I was Wonder Woman. I was so Aww. proud. I I was proud to be a woman, I was proud to be black, and I was proud to know you. I thought oh. they said it perfectly. It took me a long time to get there. No. But just this story of endurance and friendship and wanting more representation and then doing it in such a way um, to share with all of us. And you can listen to that on storycorps.org. Um, it's also all of these stories are being documented in the Library of Congress as well. That's incredible. I, was thinking, I thought you were yeah. going to say it's a podcast because with all no. that we're listening to, that's something to listen to and get inspired yes. about. You can. You can find it. They're, they do in two-minute snippets and five minutes. I was looking through all of them um, last night. But the wings of gold uh, shared between women as a bond and to encourage others to get involved. I love that so much. I love mm -hmm. that, Kara. Yeah, Thank and you. the Officer Holmes was the first black female to pilot a helicopter. Oh my goodness. In the Coast Guard. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Cool. I'm sorry. sorry. I only got to one. I got well, a little windy just... in that, but I was just, I wanted to get it all in. And you did. I it was, I followed, did. I followed, I followed every okay. bit of twist right. and just turn. Just call me if you want clarification. And yeah, yeah. reach out to us on our <laughs> Facebook page.